Naples. This will be their 29th trip to the Sweet 16. It's a Blue Devil beatdown in Brooklyn. 93 to 55, the final score as they blast JMU and head into the Sweet 16. So impressive. McCain had 30, one of four in double figures. They had 22 assists this afternoon as they scored 93 points. Just everything you would want as they led wire to wire. second weekend is one of the most special things you can be a part of. You know, it goes from 68, uh, the first couple days gets cut down to 64, and then within four days, it's down to 16. And to be one of the 16, uh, it's something I never want to take for granted. And I hope for Duke fans, community, like Sweet 16 is, is, a, is an important step. And it actually hit me, you know, we have two great coaches on our staff and Emmanuel Dildy, Jay Lucas. They have 25 years of coaching experience in D1 combined and this is their first Sweet 16 and you you don't want to go off of what you've done you want to go off of what we're doing now and for us uh, just to enjoy this moment uh, my mind went very quickly to the next step but being in the Sweet 16 is something I'm really proud of. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. They say Coke Zero is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. Feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And the handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has her back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by like a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to a hundred. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. I need to try it first. Yeah. My name is Jared McCain. My name is Jace McCain. We got closer more towards my high school years. Yeah. I mean, we've always been close just as brothers, but that kind of age gap where he was in high school and I'm kind of lower middle school. So we weren't that close, but we were obviously brothers, so we did everything together. I mean, obviously growing up, we'd play one-on-one -on -one, nonstop. I'd continuously beat him like I do now. 
But yeah, we, we would always compete when we were young. Big brother playing the little brother and, you know, they get in a little typical, like, I'm better than you, you, you know, no, you're not, back and forth. And, and uh, Jace really did love picking at Jared. Jace's mission was to tease Jared. And he swears that that's why Jared is the player he is today, because of how um, tough he was on him. I think that really did, uh, help him out, like me somewhat bullying him, it turned him into a dog. I really do think it has helped his, his, pro his process. During COVID, that's when things really started to connect and click for us and his development as well. They relied on, um, on each other a lot during that time. Obviously, they have a great bond, you know, seeing their relationship and the fact that both of those guys have gone through a lot together and then to see their bond grow even stronger during their year here uh, in our program has been incredible for us to see. So my journey has been pretty different and unique, I would say. High school, I kind of had some health problems. Uh, doctors couldn't figure out exactly what it was. Uh, so I missed a few games here and there. I missed half a season my junior year. So recruiting uh, was a little lower for me. And so that's why uh, the Division II option ended up being my best option. It kind of stunted his progress in, you know, he was luckily able to play a D2 and got a scholarship and that was amazing. And then I get to college, commit to Cal State San Marcos. I'm still feeling pain, it's something in my chest. Doctors thought it could have been a heart problem, it wasn't, and they finally found blood clots, a pulmonary embolism, and that prevented me from playing my freshman year. So I had to red shirt, take blood thinners, uh, but then I was able to play after that. His whole life, of course, has, has been basketball, so when this happened, you know, we didn't know what the future was for his basketball career, but more so his life, you know, it threatened his life. We were like, you know, basketball is done. And in his, Jace's mind, he was very much, I'm going to get back on the court. And he was able to finish and have a great career. All while this is going on, I'm kind of contemplating my own career and thinking like, man, like I probably won't get as far as I wanted to go all the way to the NBA. Um, and that's when I kind of started thinking about, I need to start investing in my, my little brother who has potential. Yeah, I started thinking like, I can also see those goals and uh, help him get there if I invest in him and kind of take a step back in my own, in my own career. Like I was just a little kid, I didn't really know what was going on. You know, at that point, he was obviously trying to get back to where he wanted to play and where he could play. Eighth grade is when I started to really fall in love with basketball and like everything that comes with it, becoming obsessed with it. And then that's when he obviously started making more sacrifices for me to become better, helping me off the court, on the court, um, helping me rebound. And then that's when COVID happened. That's when I started taking less reps and like Jared needs to shoot more because I'm going to invest in him because I know how good he can be. Yeah, so during that time, that's like, when I started really knowing like what was going on, um, you know, how much this affects him, how obviously he had, he had a dream and he's taking a step back just for me. So for me, that was huge. Just to know that like my brother would do anything for me, he'll sacrifice anything for me to help me reach the next level. So it almost gave me like the most motivation I ever needed. Um, and I've always, I've kept that up until now. He's been there throughout this whole process. He helps me with everything. So through, from COVID, like that's when I just started working as hard as I can, doing everything I can to be the best player I can be on and off the court. And it's really because of him. Like I literally, I, he's the reason why I play. Like I do everything in the back of my mind. I'm like, I gotta get Jace. Me and Jace are gonna be at that level because it's both of our dreams to make it to the NBA. Um, so if I'm the one playing, then he's gonna be right there with me um, along this whole journey. So having him here, uh, it's like, it's, it's the best thing that could have happened. So I just appreciate him and yeah, he's the reason why I play and why I come out here and talk to God all the time about how the reason why I step on the square, I want to play as hard as I can each and every single possession for Jace. So. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, it also gave me a sense of purpose. I'm sure everyone during COVID, you know, you start contemplating your life, like, what am I going to do next? And, you know, it just really gave me a purpose that I can help with his career and without purpose, it life is really confusing you don't know what to do and so for him to give me that was everything to see jared feel like i'm going to make this work for both of us says he's playing for jays it it gets us every time we go uh, it makes us very emotional we're just so proud of both of them and jared saying talking about it like that it just it gets us
every time. <laughs> Naturally, with Jace, you know, not being able to play the game that he loved because of his career being cut short, I think that gave more responsibility to Jared to want to carry what Jace had started. Blood couldn't make him any closer. I mean, like, um, you know, they're always together. I mean, it's great, humble dudes to be around. It's led them to so much successful things, and it's going to keep doing the same thing. They're really, like, inseparable in, in that sense. I mean, Jared, you can tell, like, the way he plays, he's he's playing for, you know, something, a strong purpose. Jared's chasing his goals for his brother, too. You know, that's a, that's a really tough decision to um, for someone to, you know, give up something that they love and for their brother and, and to chase their brother's dream. But, you know, Jace is a really strong dude. He's, he's, he's intelligent, he's humble. Glad I met that guy, you know, he's a great dude. The whole family really, like after every game here at Cameron, just seeing uh, his mom and his dad and his, even like his center relatives will sit, you know, in the bleachers and watch and uh, just see them work together, I'm sure. They're really proud of both of them. It's a family business. It's really heartwarming to, to watch. Everything seemed to smooth out, and then he graduated, and Duke was next for uh, Jared. We didn't know that Duke was next for Jace also. When he got in, we were just so happy. And once I committed, it was kind of, my mom kind of suggested like what, what could happen if Jace could come. Um, he wants a future in basketball. Uh, so we asked Shire about it, and you know, he had to get in on his own. Jace has been such an incredible asset. The impact that he has made has been so significant, which is making everybody better. This all kind of worked out, and it's always been my dream to be a part of you know, a high major basketball program, let alone Duke. So it, it, it was an amazing opportunity for us. Everything I do, everything I do is geared towards helping me reach my goals. He's been a special guy to coach. Jace has been a special guy to have in our program, and the McCain family has just been such a wonderful addition to the Duke family. To actually see both of them uh, living their dream like, in front of us, it's like, it gives us the best feeling. Me being a part of this, it's once in a lifetime opportunity. I have no idea how much I would fall in love with them. <laughs> it's gonna make me emotional, but they are my world. Um, love them to to the end. They always are here just to support me for anything, like literally anything, they'll be there. Just an, another uh, example of how I've been able to get to where I'm at. I've never been more ecstatic in my life to be a part of something. So I'm just excited that I get to be a part of it and also I get to watch my brother dominate the stage. I mean, this is, this part of the season is the most exciting part is what you've worked all preseason, all in season four. I'm just excited to be along for the journey and I promise I'm gonna play as hard as I can every single possession um, to help this team win. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter that electrolytes are all the same. And just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. People have trusted Reed's Jewelers with their life's moments since 1946. That's because we're family owned. We treat everyone who walks through our doors or visits our website as a part of our family. We have a beautiful selection of jewelry and watches for any occasion. We offer free shipping and returns, as well as multiple payment options to make sure you find the perfect gift. See why people have trusted Reed's Jewelers to celebrate their life's moments for over 75 years. When you're injured, you should not be ignored by the insurance company. We know the amount seems low, but this is what your case is worth. Just click here. We understand you can't work. Click the bottom. You want more. Call a law firm that will fight for the justice you deserve. You weren't going to click that, were you? Tell them you mean business. Call the law offices of James Scott Farron on the Hurt Line right now. Duke's new century cries out for a university where the drive to discover is not hemmed by disciplinary logics. Where philosophers work side by side with physicians and physicists 
where nurses find inspiration in narrative theory, where mechanical engineers team up with marine biologists or musicians. I believe Duke will continue to be that university together. Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. Tyrese for Mitchell on the left, a dribble and a handoff for McCain. Back for Mark, slicing in, one dribble, took the contact, counted, and a chance for three. And a high five along the baseline for the folks in the expensive seats. Well, some of the special moments that I think back on this year are uh, you know, start of the year right away with Caleb Foster at Michigan State, and that was a big game for us. And he hits the five threes, he has 18 points. A uh, special moment for a freshman to be in. I also think, too, the game in, in Madison Square Garden, you know, against Baylor, where, you know, it was a big time game back and forth. And Flip had a great game. He picks up four fouls, and Ryan Young comes in and makes two of the biggest plays. He has a finish. And then he has two free throws and then a great pass uh, to Jared McCain for a you know, game clinch in three. And it's a great way to go into your break, winning at Madison Square Garden. There was that key stretch in the middle of the season where you played Georgia Tech at home and Flip had 30 points. And I thought he was just, you know, really as good as anybody in the country, you know, with the way he played. And that game, he just carried us and willed us to a tough win over Georgia Tech at home. And then Tyrese, his moment against Clemson, the two clutch free throws, not to mention Flip right before has the end one to take the lead. They come back and score. And it's probably as important as any play all year. Tyrese making those two free throws to give us the win. It was a crucial time. It was against a tournament team in Clemson. And it really gave us momentum going forward in the season. I think about Mark Mitchell's progression and Mark during the, the, the course of the season, the, the two moments at Notre Dame when, look, that's a tough place to play. They beat a lot of people there this year. Uh, they're a tough team. And Mark had, you know, the, the two clutch threes in that game. He was all over the boards. He was attacking. And then he did the same thing when we played Wake Forest at home. He was just relentless attacking the basket, getting into the paint and just had some big time plays that helped us get the win. Jeremy, obviously throughout his career, has hit so many clutch shots. And, you know, one of the great ones this season uh, was against Wake Forest at home. And, you know, we were back and forth, couldn't gain separation. And uh, I just called the ball screen for Jeremy up top. And he just banged it in, crowd went crazy, put us up eight. And it's just a typical Jeremy shot, you know, just in a moment where you need it. You know he's going to come through. It's hard to forget Jared McCain's outing at Florida State. It's one of the great freshman performances I've ever seen. I had to remind myself I still have to coach him. And, you know, I got to a point during the Florida State game where I just said, just get the ball <laughs> and uh, go make a play because he just had a, a really special night going. And to do it on the road, to do it against a team like Florida State in that environment, uh, was just a, a special performance. And just collectively, seeing the start of the uh, Virginia game that we had, I thought it was one of the best games we've played all year. Uh, the, the personalities that our guys played with, uh, the excitement, the, the fight, the, the doing it on both ends, and to be able to just take control of the game early is one of the all-time great Cameron moments you know, that I've seen. Beekman. Going to work on Filipowski, trying to drive him, nearly knocked loose. It is to the deck. Power trying to get it. Flip joins the party. Roach out of there with it. Three on two. Stewart back to Roach. Back to Stewart to throw it down. What a well executed fast break. You take it, I'll take it, you take it. Finish it off with Sean Stewart. It all started with Filipowski and Power on the deck, knocking the ball out. The buzzer beater, that moment when time stands still. Our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad.
Continental, the smart choice in tires. These mascots represent some of the most heated rivalries in college sports. What could possibly bring them all together? Everyone agrees on the best team in smart home security. CPI. they take you. With over 30 hotel brands, Marriott Bonvoy has a brand for every kind of fan. We still believe in the American dream. A dream filled with promise. A dream filled with commitment to our neighbors and our communities. Where we work hard and succeed together. Where we take care of those who serve for us. SRS delivers with integrity and purpose. Through the fastest growing family of independence in the country. Company by company. Person by person. Rooftop by rooftop. SRS Distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers dreams. It can't be us inserting the passion that we need to or the hunger. It's got to be you guys. You guys make this year what you want to be. Finally, the season is here. It's Duke and Dartmouth. And off we go from Cameron. Seven and six, another screen at the top of the key. Kicks to the right. Foster again. Big time! Jeremy has room at the left elbow. Step back. It scores! How many times has he done that over the years? Caleb lobs it to the left. Flip wants one. Oh my goodness! They're coming from everywhere. And the lead is 20. Flip, sizing up Reed, drives him into the paint, a kick out, Proctor a three. Got it again, and Duke has the lead. Flip on the drive, spins on Shefflin, took the contact, count it, and a chance for three. Roach bounces it for Mitchell, top of the key. Collects, jumps up from three, give it to him. Mark Mitchell sizzling. A theft by Jeremy Roach, a bounce pass ahead for McCain. On the right of three. Got it! Jared McKay dialed in! And the Blue Devils lead by 10 at halftime. It's McCain all the way in. Oh! He punched it with the right hand! My goodness! Timeout Miami! Waiting, lobs it up top, stolen by Flip. And a run out. Look out the windmill with the right hand! Did Flip come to the gym to mean business today? Oh, boy. Cameron in a frenzy. Two really important turning points in our season was early in the year when we lost back-to-back -back road games to Arkansas and Georgia Tech. And at that moment, you know, you're five and three. You've played four of your first eight games, been really high, high-level opponents. And look, early in the year, that, that can be a make-or-break type of moment. And for our group, just to double down on everything we believe in, get back to work, you run off eight straight games in a row, and you put yourself in a position where you're competing. After losing your first AC game, uh, you put yourself in a position late in the year, you have a chance to play for an ACC regular season championship. But that was a key moment for us to show our toughness, to show our togetherness, and to show the, just what you have inside of you. And I'm really proud of the response. And the other moment was late in the year when we didn't, the last regular season game didn't go the way we wanted it to at home, and then the ACC tournament, and then we had a seven-day break where we had to get back to work, uh, find out who we were again, uh, continue to believe in our vision and each other and what we're doing, and again, one more time, double down on all those things, and that group did that. Drop, cut off, spin, steps through, put it up, blocked by Blakes, got it back, stripped by Proctor, and here we go the other way, five on three. Ropes to the left for Mitchell, slicing in, he's fouled, give it to him, and a chance for three. Mark Mitchell injecting life into this team and this crowd here tonight. As I've reflected on this season in this group, I think, they're, uh, I think it's really important that they're celebrated 
for coming in at a time of the biggest transition in our program's history, I believe. And this core group has shown Duke's not going anywhere. There's been a ton of adversity that they faced over two years with, with injury and not necessarily having the continuity. And you know, was this group perfect with along the way? No, we, we made mistakes, we lost some games. But the way that this group has never quit, has never made excuses, has never turned their back on Duke and their commitment that they have to this university and to this program is what I think is so special about them. You know, we've had you know, three guys that are out for the season. Uh, they've hung tough. Other guys have stepped up. And just to do it in a different way this year, you know, we did go a little smaller. You know, we went with great skill, but we had the toughness. We had the commitment. And the fact that they made no excuses to me is what signifies a really special group. And I've been lucky to coach them. Well, for me, going through year two, uh, it's been an amazing experience for me because you, you, I learned, I learned very quickly that not every year is the same as a head coach. And you can think, no matter, you know, we, we returned a lot of the guys from year one, and very quickly you can think, all right, those same things are just going to work, and they'll go into year two. That's not the case. You have developing personalities. You have developing players. You have. Uh, even one player leaving and one player coming in, there's different chemistry. And going through, I think we've had great adversity with injury the first two years. And, you know, that's been something that's part of the game and you may have to deal with all the time. Hopefully not with a starting group and you can build with that same continuity for a longer period of time. But for me, going through it with these first two years with this group, uh, I've learned a ton. I feel uh, I'm in the best place I've ever been as a coach. I'm always going to continue to want to learn and develop and be the best that I can be for our staff, for our program, for our players. Uh, but, but this year has been, I don't even have the words to describe what it's done for me as a coach and the motivation that I have moved forward.